a massive fleet of human battleships circled the Venek planet, a shining gem in the darkness of space. They had traveled light years and fought in countless skirmishes to reach this point. The Venek, a formidable alien race, had pushed Earth to the brink, but humanity had pushed back. Now, above the Venek homeworld, the ultimate battle was set to begin. Lieutenant Commander Elias Wren was the third in command of the elite 45th Space Commando Regiment. He had seen his fair share of battles, but this, dropping from low orbit onto a hostile world, was a new level of intensity. The hollow displays in the drop pod lit up with incoming data. The battleships had done their part, neutralizing most of the Venek planetary defenses, but now it was the ground force's turn. Elias felt the subtle vibrations of the battleships outside. The ship's internal comm crackled to life. Commando Regiment, this is Captain Johnson. The Venek defenses are down, but we expect heavy resistance once you land. Stay sharp and good luck. He tightened the straps of his drop harness. Beside him, soldiers from his regiment were doing the same. Their faces a mix of determination, fear, and adrenaline. We trained for this, Elias thought to himself, trying to find some solace in preparation. Sergeant Davis, Elias's second-in-command and close friend, leaned in, his face inches from his. You ready for this, Wren? He grinned. Always, Sergeant. The light above the hatch turned green. Without a word, Elias and his regiment initiated the drop sequence. They were hurtling towards the Venic planet from 80 miles up, the sheer speed making it feel as though they were tearing through the very fabric of space-time. As the pod penetrated the upper atmosphere, Elias could feel the increasing heat on the exterior. Their descent was meteoric, reaching speeds of nearly 3,000 miles per hour. It was an unparalleled experience, one only a handful of humans had ever experienced. For a moment, Elias wondered if they were the fastest humans in the galaxy. But there was little time for such musings. The real challenge was slowing down. Their pods were equipped with reverse thrusters and parachutes, but with their heavy gear, slowing down was always tricky. They carried state-of-the-art rifles, sidearms, multiple grenades, and enough supplies to last them a week. The pod's AI system began its countdown. Deceleration in five, four, three. Elias braced himself. Two, one. The force of the reverse thrusters knocked the wind out of Elias. It was like hitting a brick wall at full speed. But the pods were designed for this, and within moments, the regiment's descent slowed to a manageable pace. But they weren't out of danger yet. As they neared the ground, Venek anti-aircraft fire started targeting them. Flak exploded all around, and Elias could see some pods getting hit, veering off course or exploding mid-air. Elias's pod landed with a thud, the impact dampened by the pod's advanced shock absorption system. The hatch blew open, and Elias and his team poured out, weapons at the ready. They were in the thick of it. Venek soldiers, taken by surprise, scrambled to mount a defense. A fierce firefight ensued. The human commandos, trained for such engagements, used their superior tactics and technology to push through the Venek lines. But the Venek were not going down without a fight. They were tenacious, and their home turf gave them an advantage. Elias led his team forward, using the terrain for cover. Every so often, he'd glance up at the sky, where the silhouette of human battleships loomed large, a reminder of the monumental battle being waged above and below. The first objective was to secure a landing zone for reinforcements. As Elias and his regiment fought their way towards the designated site, he couldn't help but marvel at the beauty of the Venic planet. It was a stark contrast to the devastation of war, but there was no time to admire the view. The future of two species hung in the balance, and Elias was determined to ensure that humanity came out on top.